Dynamic Fill can help you select irregular areas and create multiple markups at once. The fill allows you to cover large or complex selections of a drawing and create a shape selection that can be then converted to a polygon markup, a space, or a variety of measurement markups, making your takeoff process far more efficient. Just create a boundary, fill in the selection, and choose the markup you want to make. To begin using Dynamic Fill, go to Tools, Measure, Dynamic Fill. A floating toolbar appears, which allows you to access the necessary tools, settings, and markup options. Click on the Settings icon, which allows you to edit the properties of the fill and boundary tools you'll use to select the area. You can change the size of the boundary to match the drawing as much as possible. Change the fill size. Select how fast the fill spreads and the colors of the fill and boundary. You can also determine the edge sensitivity, which tells the fill where to stop, be it at the thin lines or thicker lines. Adjust the parameters to your liking. If your drawing contains openings, like this one does at the top, Use the Boundary tool to close it off. Double-click to finish the boundary. Select the Fill tool, then fill in the area. If there's a missing opening, just use the Boundary tool again and draw across the opening. This will remove the outlying section. With the selection made, you need to choose which markups to create. You can create a space, polygon markup, area measurement, poly length measurement, perimeter measurement, a volume measurement, or any combination of those. You can click on an option and it will highlight to indicate it is selected using the default properties for that tool. Or you can select the down arrow to choose what properties are applied. The down arrow also allows you to select either default properties or from any custom tools of that type in the tool chest. Make sure the markups you want to create are highlighted. Click them again if there are any you don't want made. Click Apply. The space can be seen in the Spaces tab and the appropriate markups in the markup list.